Mosquito is a clever little bastard. You can track him for days and days until you really get to know him like a friend. He knows you're there, and you know he's there. It's a game of wits. You hate him, then you respect him, then you kill him. And this little mosquito is still very much alive. I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to The Main Report. Now let me explain what I'm talking about here. Back in 2004, when Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation held its last shareholders meeting in Australia, and we all voted to send the company to America, The Age printed the following on its front page the very next day. Now The Age is a quality broadsheet based here in Melbourne, and this is what they said. Quote, It was difficult not to wonder if the News Corporation's shift to the US was due in some way to the presence in the past six years of corporate governance warrior Stephen Mayne. Now I'm the first to admit that was a little bit overblown, but Rupert Murdoch was furious about this, and the next day he unleashed one of his most loyal business commentators, Terry McCran, who made a major attack on the age, describing the paper as being run by a bunch of 12-year-olds and calling me, quote, an utterly insignificant gadfly. Now the Herald Sun is Melbourne's biggest selling newspaper, it's pretty powerful. So you don't particularly like it when McCran said the following about me, quote, you might just as well and as credibly have put the shift down to Murdoch being bitten by a mosquito on one of his visits to Adelaide. Right, that's it. We're off to Delaware. Well, this little mosquito has very much landed in 2007 because I've put up a shareholder resolution for the forthcoming News Corporation annual meeting in New York. I'm proposing to get rid of Rupert's gerrymander, the system which sees him control 40% of the votes, but only 15% of the stock. Now I've had a big win this week when the corporate proxy advisory firm, ISS, has advised its 500 institutional clients around the world to vote in favour of my resolution. The board told them to vote against, so now we're talking about a serious revolt against what Rupert and his board wants. Now Rupert's a tough guy and I'm very much worried about how he's going to respond to this. Is he going to unleash another one of his drunken journalists on me? I think we have a very... You! you. Or will Rupert really pull out the big guns? I'm Stephen Main, just doing my best here, a little mosquito in suburban Melbourne. (laughs) It's a success. The mosquito is dead. But Roy must make sure. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded mosquito. (laughs) 